humans of planet Earth, welcome back to JRE in a nutshell. Today, guys, mind fucking blowing interview. Dude, this guy Billy Carson, I, if like I saw him and I know I recognize him, but the name Billy Carson didn't tell me anything. But this guy is just is crazy. Like this is basically the Terence Howard conversation episode two vol second volume or something like they even speak about terence and he basically confirms a couple of things not everything but a couple of things of the theories that terence had this guy confirms that doesn't mean doesn't mean that it's true it's just like a second confirmation but not because this guy says it means that it's true either so yeah let's keep an open mind so but before we go to the topics please don't forget to like subscribe press that bell and here on this side pick click here <laughs> and you'll find the subscribe button it's super super easy i really really appreciate it and follow me in all of the social media you know what to do so Ah, Billy Carson, my holy shit. I love this kind of fucking crazy interviews. I just listened to it once. It's not going to be the only one, the only f the only time that I'm going to listen to it. It's very, very difficult for me to tell you what they spoke about. But let's put this into context. So the guy created, uh, has this new show called the Anunnaki. And he speaks about the Anunnaki. Who are the Anunnaki in case people don't know, for the ones who don't know. They, this is this theory about these aliens that drop humans here so we are that we are not from earth and these people the Anunnaki they dropped us here and they taught us how to live and how to farm and how to develop and so it's this kind of theory that humans are not from earth and so the, this is like the head of the octopus and it has several arms and some of them, and these arms are all the topics, but everything, they always go back to the Anunnaki theory and they speak the same topics up, then they move to something else, then they come back. So everything is everywhere. These topics in this order, in this specific, com normally I do it in order, but in this specific conversation, it means they spoke about this at some point basically more than once probably but that's why we have all of the timestamps in the description just go there and you'll find specifically when they spoke about each of the things so they did start with the Sumerian tablets and how he uh, interpreted and translate them or there's translations already so he, it's actually allowed for anyone to just go to the library and ask for them uh, of course nobody does that like, who does that so only fucking geniuses like this dude and oh, they speak about structures in the dark side of the moon and the news that China just landed in the dark side of the moon. Like, I, I haven't seen any article or anything about it, but pff, crazy. The pyramids, obviously, but in, of course, crazy theories in crazy, like Terence Howard, just different, a little bit different. Different theories, different points of view. Now they spoke about something getting burned. Uh, I never heard about that. Uh, they found some ashes or something because they also spoke about this Alaska boneyard that was actually missing in the Terence Howard uh, conversation. And he mentioned it this time. And then this ash, it was the same ash that he saw in Egypt, in Alaska. So crazy. And about UFOs also, but not only UFOs and entities, but like, well, the, the quote of the day, guys, please stay stay actually i should shut the fuck up because it's quite long so please stay for the quote of the day it's crazy that is more about are the ufos really biological like we are not as smart as them and we already send in drones to far away places or places that are dangerous why would they send their people of course they're gonna send so maybe these gray ones with the black eyes that we all picture as standard basic alien is just a robot could be right so <laughs> mind blows every two seconds crazy like 10 different quote of the days it's impossible to put them all of course it was an amazing amazing conversation definitely everybody needs to check it out obviously five nerds 
100% fucking check it out crazy interview and man I can just imagine this guy please make this happen please, this guy Cat Williams and Terrence Howard together please Joe fuck man birthday present Christmas present together oh man that would be amazing I, I, we have to eat some mushrooms to listen to that one so thank you for listening guys uh, I remind you that I have nothing to do with Joe Rogan or the Joe Rogan experience all topics and books and links to this dude and his, he has a private channel so you have to if you want to watch his Anunnaki TV show you have to go to his website so all of these links are down in the description and don't forget to stay for the quote of the day and I'll see you next time Peace. I have three different levels of visitation going on simultaneously. One is corporeal beings in a physical body, most likely anatomically similar to us, you know, a bilateral bipedal organism with two forward facing eyes, maybe Do one you think or two sets of hands. It's what we eventually become. It's that part, what they are? It's possible that maybe we already are them. Just, uh, um, you know, Earth could be an abandoned seed colony. We, uh, every culture that I've talked to indigenously around the planet all say they were seeded on this planet by Pleiadians or other beings, star brothers in various different places. So like the it's Dogons. pretty interesting. Like the Dogons, the Nomo, the Hopi and the Lakota tribe, the star brothers, the aboriginal elders say that they were seeded here by Pleiadians. All of a sudden, why is everybody having the same story that were, we were brought here? We could be genetically, I don't believe we're even from Earth to be quite honest with you. Our psychotic rhythm doesn't even match Earth's uh, or, or rotation on its axis. We're slightly off. It's actually better tuned to Mars' orbit on its uh, uh, rotation on its own axis than what it is What do you mean? How does that work? The psychotic rhythm of a human body, the wake and sleep cycle, is actually more tuned to, to Mars' uh, rotation on its own axis, a Mars day versus an Earth day, which is pretty weird that we, don't, we aren't synced to our own planet after all these thousands, is maybe the hundreds same of as thousands our circadian? of years. Circadian, circadian rhythm? rhythm, right. Uh, so when... How do they calculate it's more tuned to Mars? Like, how does that work? Well, it's just they, they geneticists and, and scientists discovered that our day, our, our perfect uh, wake and sleep cycle is more tuned to Mars rotation on its axis, which is about 23 and, and something minute hours, and versus Earth being 24 hours. And so they said, wow, this is incredible. And the more they tested it and the more they studied it, they realized we're more tuned to, to the Mars than we are to Earth, which is pretty strange. Well, we are weird. We have yeah. we accept shit like leap year, right? <laughs> like, what kind of whack calendar do you have? Where <laughs> it was make up stuff. If some some know. years the month is longer, what I the know. fuck are you doing? Like, I know. For make what? a better calendar. Isn't there a better calendar? Yeah. Shouldn't there be like a digital calendar that represents exactly what's going on yeah. and not go January? February? <laughs> Come on, get the fuck out of here. I it's know, it's so pretty, dumb. pretty bizarre. But you know what's interesting? If you want to say, oh, human beings could be aliens, well, actually, every person on this planet is an alien. Even our planet itself is an alien. Scientists just discovered something interesting. Now, I've never talked about this shit on a podcast, and you guys can look this up. So our Milky Way galaxy is pretty interesting because it's absorbing another galaxy at this exact moment called the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy. Not the Sagittarius Constellation. That's something totally different. We are ex absorbing the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy at this exact moment. People thought for all these decades, looking or even hundreds of years, looking up in the night sky, seeing that swath of stars going across, oh, that's the Milky Way. Guess what? We've been wrong the whole time. This is now being taught in universities in astrophysics.